Oh. Oh, did the server glitch? It just what? froze. Oh, oh, that. Oh, our first glitch? Our first glitch. Dang. It's actually pretty impressive when you consider that we've been playing for over an hour. Um, I wonder if it's the world gen cache just flushed to disk, because uh, I am just using a micro SD card. We turned a Raspberry Pi 4 into a Minecraft server. If you haven't watched that video yet, do that first. After more than an hour of multiplayer gameplay, this is the discussion that followed. This feature is brought to you by Ameridroid.com. Get your Raspberry Pi 4 or other single board computer to power your Minecraft server at Ameridroid.com. American-based electronic sales, shipping, and support. Visit Ameridroid.com. I think it's a mission success, my friend. Hooray! So the next step for my Raspberry Pi in order to boost the performance even further is I want to get an NVMe to USB 3 UASP adapter. So wow, that's okay. going to give me a, a, a solid state drive that I can run the Minecraft world off of. Right. So that when it does that flush, the, the, the storage, in this case, the SD card, doesn't get choked. Right. Because an SD card, especially on a Raspberry Pi, which does not have a really great uh, micro SD card uh, reader writer, it's pretty slow mm -hmm. by, by contrast to NVMe for sure. Right. Um, it, it should get rid of that bottleneck. Absolutely. So and that's going to be the an, an interesting test. And I mean, this was done on a Raspberry Pi 4 with yeah. 4 gig of RAM. Yeah. I, I can only imagine how much better it would be on an 8 gig of RAM. Because Possible, I, yeah. I mean, we I don't, we didn't tax out the RAM at any point. No, and I, I was watching that, extra that buffer. I was watching HTOP there and, and, and just kind of keeping an eye on things. CPU got pretty hot at yeah. some points. And because I only overclocked, I was a little conservative in, in my case, overclocking to 1.95 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. um, you could go higher than that, but then you risk stability issues yeah. and things like that or the, the single board computer crashing. Uh, but the other opportunity that we have is, is with the Raspberry Pi uh, 400, mm -hmm. which does have a stock 1.8 gigahertz processor, oh, okay. which we could then bump up to maybe 2 or 2.2 .2 gigahertz. That might make a difference. So that might be cool too. So I mean, you can do this on, on the same method can be uh, translated to any single board computer. It's yeah. just making sure that you've got enough power and enough RAM. But the fact is it worked. It worked and it really, worked well. really well. And I mean, having, com I mean, we didn't do the comparison on the show, but having done it on a Pi 3 and an yep. Odroid XU4, mm -hmm. I was expecting it to not go well. And you mentioned that it, or uh, more timer mentioned that it, it, it's even working better than the online services. Yes. And I uh, yeah, and I, I, w I would agree with that. Like, especially, I mean, at the top of the show, we were talking about, uh, or I was saying how I'd use some free services. And the free services performed worse than the Pi. And so you mean the Pi performed better that's than the correct. free services? Yeah, and even some of the, <laughs> I like to put a positive yeah, spin on things. Even the paid services, uh, you know, like five bucks a month, stuff like that. Like you know, the bottom end, uh, I would say that they were comparable, maybe. Like the Pi kept up and, and did well, and yeah. uh, you know that was there was what nine of us, eight of us on there. Something like that. Isn't that unreal, folks? Like, and, and we did not tax it out. Like, there's no. room for more. So, yeah. hey, let's let's do it. Let's land party. <laughs> I'm game. Check out the links below. Head on over to Ameridroid.com to get your single board computer. Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs of RAM is what we tested on tonight. And uh, anything, uh, as Jeff is saying, get the 8 gig if you want. And uh, you're going to probably even see better performance than we saw, which is pretty astonishing. Mm -hmm. um, and there are other single board computers and other products there as well. Uh, and the links uh, below also contain my script to set it up. Okay. Um, more information as well. So if you're not seeing that, if you're watching this on cable TV or anything like that, head on over to our website, category5.tv, and just do a quick search for Minecraft Raspberry Pi, and you'll find the video with those links and the instructions and the script to install it and everything else. Oh, yeah. Fantastic stuff. Well, bald nerd, I've just uh, threw up a bunch of torches and a couple of paths. Thanks, dude. Are you still moment. down there? Oh yeah, I'm finding all it's of the dark dark areas and lighting it up. Yeah, nice. Not a bad spot. Cool. 
Should be a good mine. Yeah, lots of resources, lots to work with. I think, uh, I think you'll be good. Do you guys have any food I could eat? Uh, there might be some potatoes in my place. If you can get back to my base, you can have any of the veggies that are in the garden. Oh, thanks. Just uh, make sure to save something so I can replant. I'll take the wheat because it drops wheat and seeds, and then I'll replant the seed. Ow. Oh, look, we got a zombie here with a shield and a sword. Could I have the shield? It dropped the shield. Nice. You still have some torches? I'm flat out. I do. Nice. This is a sweet cave. Yeah, man, it just keeps going. Oh, if only I had a pickaxe. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, oh look, look at that. Farmer. I don't want to hurt one of you guys, so I'm trying to hang back a little bit. Oh. oh, did the server glitch? It just what? froze. Oh, oh that. Oh, our first glitch? Our first glitch. Dang. It's actually pretty impressive when you consider that we've been playing for over an hour. Um, I wonder if it's the world gen cache just flushed to disk, because uh, I am just using a micro SD card. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Ooh, an Enderman. I'm going to kill this oh, thing. Oh, that what that was? You're going down into the deep dark. Because there's an Enderman. And a skeleton and a creeper. Did you pick up, like, some armor and stuff? Ow. Ah, uh, crap. I just fell down a deep hole. But I'm good. Oh, no. I might die. Oh, creeper. That hurt. Okay, I'm at one heart. Could you guys help? Um, all I have is rotting flesh. Yeah. <laughs> I heart. mean, I... I'm holding them off with my shield. I need help. I don't really have anything. I'm like, I'll uh, put on my. Yeah, I'm down to one heart. Creeper got me. I hear this a zombie. I'm fight. probably gonna die. Okay. I don't even know where you are, more timer. I'm in your cave. Well, I know that, but it's an awfully big cave. There we go. Did you? How far oh. down did you go? Like I don't even see you, and I don't have any torches or anything. I just got out of your of your cave. All right. Yeah. That is one impressive cave. Thanks. <laughs>